things you're going to want to do is make sure that your tailgate is down. Once you have it open and down, you're going to see these three bolts right there. Remove those using a 13 millimeter socket. It's nice and tight. Right, let's get these out of here. Wiggle this handle around so it's nice and free. With this black bezel, the next thing you're going to want to have is one of these nice plastic trim tools. The reason why we're going to use plastic is because we're going to come in between the bed and the plastic shroud right here. Just go ahead and come right here, push it, do the same thing right there. Once you have the top broken free, just go ahead and lift this straight up and draw it away. Go ahead and come in between here with a nice flathead screwdriver. Pull that clip down, grab this raw and slide it out. Do the same to the other side. Let's just get this handle out of here. It's a good idea to take it out. The next thing you'd want to do is grab onto these, give them a little squeeze, and take down your tailgate. The next thing we want to do is put a nice piece of wood with something soft to protect your tailgate, something that's going to take a little bit of the slack off of this. Now I'm going to grab onto this, pull it away, lift up, leave this hanging. Now we're going to remove our mounting bolts for the latch. grab this assembly. It's going to have the rod coming with it. You can either disconnect it now and leave the rod in there or just pull the whole thing out. I'm going to disconnect it as it is now and I'll leave the rod right where it is and there's the latch. It's a great idea to make sure you've got the right part. If it looks as though maybe your parts are opposite from what you're trying to replace, more than likely you have the wrong side of the vehicle. With that said, once you know you have the right one, let's go ahead and continue with the install. Gonna take this, it's gonna line up pretty much just like that. So go ahead and grab your rod, slide it up and through the hole, just like that. And then make sure you take this little twist, lock it in. Make sure the rod cannot slip out of there. It's very important. Now when you're putting in your latch, you wanna make sure you grab that rod and put it right up into this area. If you don't, and it's sitting down under here, you're gonna have to go ahead and take that latch right back out of there and make sure you fix it. So. Just do it now, put it right up there, and then go ahead and bolt in your latch. Now we're just going to take this, line it up with where it needs to go. It came with a nice new set of bolts, so we're going to make sure we use those. You're going to notice that there are two different bolts though. The one that has the little shanked area is going to go down here, and it's going to be the one that has the cable attached to it. Go ahead and snug these up. It's important to make sure after you've tightened that, this can still spin. That's what the shanked area on the bolt is for. So now let's lift up on the tailgate just a teeny bit, line this up, lock it in. Now if you're going to be doing the other side, now's a perfect time to do that as well. Let's leave our three bolts right here where we can reach them. Now we're going to close the tailgate. Let's go ahead and get this handle in here. Weasel it in. There we are. Now you're going to grab your connecting rods here, slide it in, and then lock it down. Slide it in, bring this around, lock it in, give it a nice shake. Do the same to the other side. So now with this nice and loose, we can continue on to installing this. If you were to pay attention on the back side, you're going to see that you have a couple little pitons, and then right here you have some hooky doos. When you go to install this, you're going to put the bottom in first so that the pitons go down into here, they'll latch in, and then just roll it in and it'll latch. Just like this. In. So now from inside the bed, you can see the back side of the tailgate. We're just going to kind of wiggle the handle around until we can see our uh, bolt holes. Grab your bolts, go ahead and start all three of them in before you tighten any of them down. Let's go ahead and snug them up. Let's give it a test. 